Hello, I'm Stephanie with Lifetime Fitness and welcome to day 20 of our 28 day challenge, our HIIT workout. So you won't need anything for this workout besides maybe a mat because we do have some floor work. Your warm up and cool down is included. You may want to grab your motivating music to get through this one. It's going to be intense, but fun and quick. Also, if you haven't, hit that like and that subscribe button and you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna get into our warm up. We're gonna start off with an overhead reach plus a toe touch. Make sure you're breathing. If you can't reach those toes, you can go for those shins or even one of those knees. Next up with a chest opener plus a knee. Open up the chest and bring up a knee. Sounds like I have a very loud dog upstairs. <laughs> Next, I'll give a slow butt kicker. arms in there, just kick up toward that butt. Nice up with a squat. Here, get in that squat position, sit back in your chair, hands with those hips, chest up. If you want a nice shallow squat. We have walk ups, or we have walk outs next. You need to bend up those knees for an inch burn. And we're up for a front deck. Any low impact? hit group we're going to start off with a jump squat we have that hit time 20 on 10 off so you're going to come down and jump up we're going to repeat this group three times through you need low impact just squat come up on those uh, for a calf raise squat down calf raise next up we have Russian twist so we're going to come down You need to 
Set forward and back. Forward and back. Next up, plank shoulder chest or back down to the mat. Make sure you keep those feet moving. It's an active rest. Pop up in that plank position and tap each shoulder. Core tight. Need a little impact off those knees. All right, and we're back up for up and out jacks. Then we're finished with round one. to catch your breath. Okay, we're back up for those sister jumps. Come down on all fours and do the same thing. Make sure that core is engaged. Back to the elbow jacks. Shoulder taps. 
Keep it going. And back up for those final open up jacks. We're on to our water break. All right, we are back with group two. We're gonna start off with three, two, one squats. So you're gonna three, two, one, and jump. Three, two, one, and jump. Three, two, one, and jump. Again, we need a little impact. Count down, come up with that half raise. Next up, we are down for dead bugs. tight, opposite hand, or opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep that core tight, back on the ground if you need to. You can set your feet down, just one at a time. You can also split it all apart, which I'm going to show you next time. 20 seconds goes by fast. We're up to split jump lunges. So you're gonna come down for a lunge, split jump, lunge. If you need to, just stick to a regular front lunge. You keep it nice and shallow or deep, it's up to you. I'll also show you another way to do that next time through. And we're down for a bear plus a kneecap. Get in that bear position, and you're just going to core engaged, tap those knees. If you need a modification, you can stick out that leg, tap that knee down, stick out your leg, tap your knee, bring it back in. And next up, we have slider jacks. First round, flu by. Right here, you're just gonna start with those jacks. If it feels a little weird, <laughs> if you need to, you can just do regular low impact jack. Back to those 51 squats. Alright, back 
those big old pose and kneecaps. Next up, we have quad stretch. How about you, but I feel like I'm drenched in sweat. Which is good for only, you know, about a good 15 minutes of hit. Right side, 
Bring that foot up, press through that pelvis. You can feel it all down that quad muscle. Next up, we have a bent over hamstring stretch. So right here, just gonna bend over, flat back, core engaged. And come all the way down now if you can. Next up, we have a wide toe touch plus a shoulder stretch. Let's wind those feet, come down, bring those hands up over as far as you can. You can move those hips from side to side, stretch those hamstrings a little more. We're going to finish out with knee holds. Nice and gently here, don't press too hard. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed our day 20 hit. Um, if you did, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you did the high impact all the way through or if you had to add in some modifications and how you felt afterwards, I would love to hear. Um, other than that, lots of water, nice healthy meal. We need to replenish all the, you know, uh, water that we just sweat out of our bodies and our body deserves a nice healthy meal. Other than that, hit that like and that subscribe button. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. Thank you for working out with me and I'll see you tomorrow for day 21.